Hello and thanks for getting the Get A Grip Photography course download. I'm Rich Bunce, walking photographer, and I've been delivering this Get A Grip workshop as a practical face-to-face -face workshop for a number of years in Ilkley. So I'm really excited to be offering it as a download to a wider audience, and I'm looking forward to guiding you through it via this video. Now any camera that you get today will come with a whole load of buttons and settings and dials and a whole load of marketing jargon with it as well. And what I want to do for you is to cut through all of that, give you the essentials that you need to get full control of your camera and start taking the photographs that you want to take. And to start you on that journey, I think it's important that we start to understand what a camera is. Now a camera can seem like this technological enigma to us, but essentially it's much simpler than that. In essence, all a camera is, is a light proof box containing light sensitive material. And we create images in the camera by letting light into the camera and exposing that light sensitive material. So we're creating an exposure. So when we press the shutter button, we open up the, the shutter, let light in. The light is being reflected off of whatever it is we're photographing and then coming into the camera and the image is being recorded onto our light sensitive material. In most cases today, that material is a digital sensor. So when we press that button, our camera is balancing three elements. Now I'm going to talk you through these elements, but we're going to go into those elements in more detail later on. So you don't have to grasp these elements right now. The key thing to understand and to hold in your mind is that these three elements are interconnected. And if you change one, you have to change one or two of the other elements. Now the first element is how long you let light into your camera for. So when you press that shutter for a set amount of time, light comes into that light proof box. The second is how much light you let in. Now this is controlled by something called an aperture that works in a very similar way to the pupil of your eye. So it widens and narrows according to how much light it wants to let in. And then the third thing is how light sensitive your sensor is. So the sensitivity, the amount of light that comes in and how long that light comes in for are all interconnected in this triangle and they're all, whenever you press the shutter in automatic mode, they're all balanced together to create the correct exposure. Understanding what a correct exposure is, is quite key to understanding taking your camera off of automatic as well. So if we don't balance that light correctly, we can find that the picture will be too dark or if we let too much light in, it can look too bright. So part of understanding, moving away from the automatic settings, we need to understand what happens when things go wrong. And so if we're not letting enough light in, the picture's gonna come up too dark, and if we're letting too much light in, it's gonna be too bright. So the key thing here to understand at this moment in time is that there's a balance to be made in this triangle of these three elements. And in all of the automatic modes and into manual, we're going to be looking at balancing those three things. So next up, I'm going to talk you through the different modes of a camera, and we're going to start seeing those three elements working together in action. 